What's up people, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very simple contact card using KVMD and you'll be using a little bit more than that. Let's get this video started. This video is sponsored by Unacademy. Do you know what makes the Unacademy platform perfect for interview preparation and for people looking to get placed in top product companies? Firstly, the industry relevant and highly structured curriculum which is designed by the people from the top product company for the people who want to crack it. Quick look into the curriculum design that you will be uh, obviously taken into. First, there's a course on system design. There's also a part two course on that followed by a backend development and more such courses are coming up. Secondly, the educator themselves are from top product companies or have competitive programming backgrounds. A quick look into the top educators who themselves have background in Amazon, Google, Flipkart and as well as LinkedIn. Apart from the doubt solving in live classes, as part of the subscription, you also get doubt solving support on Discord, where teaching assistants and educators solve your doubts where you are learning from. Use the promo code coming down below to unlock free classes as well as take, get 10% discount on your purchase of the subscription. All the links present in the description below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well. Alright, so as always, you just need to do a couple of quick imports. I'll make sure to do that. kvmd.app, uh, import the md app. Followed by that, I'm also going to be using some uh, basically buttons and things like that. So we'll just do button import as well. md, that button, raise button, something like that. Alright, so let's get started. We'll just write the basic class. I'm just going to be calling this as the user action or the animate uh, contact card. Basically, that's what we're going to do, right? Just want to get a quick contact card uh, that's going to be very, very useful. Contact card, make sure to have the init, uh, super of init. All right, next is the build method and we are going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is just create a simple class variable. I'm going to call this user anim card and it'll create an object of the MD user animation card. So where do you get it from? Go to from kvmd.uix.md user animation card import the md user animation card uh, one quick note is that uh, this kind of has been removed in the latest release i don't know why it was been removed but if you want to make sure to get it make sure to install the version that i've put in the description below just do a pip install of that version and you'll have all the things present and get get started right away uh, just do the md uh, instantiate the class time to do it by uh, you need just need to have three important parameters you need to pass it to it the first parameter is the username parameter user underscore name and i like msd very much so i'm just going to say msd which is mahindra singh dhoni the second thing is the path to avatar which is going to be like a simple image that you can have path to uh, avatar all right path to avatar is going to take a path to the image that you want to have and the third important thing is going to be the callback. So callback is basically to say there's going to be automatically a back button present. So when the user clicks the back button, you just need to say um, something, right? I just going to have a method here. So callback fired is going to be my method. Just do a print for now. Callback fired. Just try. Let's see if this is getting printed. Callback and do not instantiate the method. Just use the uh, method object alone. So let's suggest that I don't have the user. Uh, the parameter defined in it so just do and none all right so this is pretty much it uh, we have the uh, contact card created and we have the parameters added and things like that and it still are yet to give the path to avatar which i'll do in some time um this is not going to be just it we can now add more items inside this uh, basically you can add a box layout inside the card you can do all of that sort so how do you do that i'm going to quickly import from kiwi uh, dot lang i'm just going to import the builder so that i can write few things in the kv lang method kv lang format so builder it's time to run it builder or load string uh, and just do it and we'll get started so i'm going to give it a class i'm just going to create an empty box layout so let's call it as animation body something like that at md box layout and uh, what we're going to do inside this is to have an md box layout md box layout and we'll get started so i'm just going to use a couple of things here one is going to be the md uh, round flat button because it will look good and we will just have a text as uh, call contact or call call is enough similarly another md round flat button and you will have it as a message message 
and pretty much it so if you want to have some spacing between it just uh, do a simple or just have an empty widget so it will give good spacing between it and similarly here as well all right so this is going to be it and time to now probably uh, style the box layout itself so i'm going to do a couple of styling here the first styling i'm going to do is just say the orientation is vertical all right that's the first one this one followed by padding i'm just going to set a padding of dp12 and the spacing is going to be of dp12 as well that's pretty much enough uh, you can set adaptive height if you want uh, if that's not required also nothing's much going to change it's good to have an adaptive height for the child as well if you are going to set it for the parent this is primarily useful if there's going to be a lot of changing of the application sizes from uh, orient orientation from vertical to horizontal and things like that all right so that's that's it so we have created a very simple uh, animation body which is of type box layout and we have given it a couple of buttons one is to have a call and one is to message and we'll go here and from the factory uh, dot factory import factory i'll tell you why this is required because once you create something inside your builder uh, you'll need to access it why do we need to access it now you can have content inside your user animation card also how do you do that just say user animation dot box content and you can now add widget now add widget was basically for any kind of a widget right and we need to add this widget um, which we have created inside here so how do you do that just say factory dot animation what was the name animation body and instantiate it awesome now once you've created a user animation card, you're also added the box content. Just say user anim card dot open. And we are pretty much done. All right, so quick change here that I want to also add is to add the path to avatar. The path to avatar, I already have a I already have an image and it's just called as in msd.jpg. So I'm going to add that image. You will see how the image is in the output. Uh, we'll have created everything. We've also opened the card. And uh, now just to say uh, contact card dot run awesome guys so we've done it we have added the contact card we've uh, done basically everything that we need to do time to run it and see how it really looks awesome so this is basically how my contact card is looking like uh, there's few changes that you want to make one is the widget right here so i'll just add a widget here as well so that it doesn't look really bad um yeah pretty much right here stop and start to make it look a little bit better at least i can try to make it look a little bit better all right all right this is my favorite player mahindra singh dhoni on this screen and i can just click it and stuff like that now this is where the callback fire is going to be present it says callback fire right here right now what i also want to do is instead of just printing something like this i just want to do or add a toast to it the toast is something like a user uh, information that's get printed on the bottom of the application and in order to load a toast just to do from kiwi on uh, dot toast kiwi md dot toast because kiwi md has the toast and just say toast and now just like a print you can just say toast right here close app so now it's time to see how the animation itself is looking like now we'll run it again all right that's the app right here and what you can do is just control the information as well you can just do it like this you can open up to a bigger one smaller one and also just do a basic one so i want to now go back and i click go back it just does that animation itself and takes me back to the screen it's threw up a toast here and just opening a toast for the entire screen i can even control that as well if you want to so that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys a very 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 useful uh, class that is present hidden inside the kvmt even though it's not available right now in the latest version i'm pretty sure it's going to be brought back and you can just play around with it and add it to your application and make it look really really professional that's it for this video if you like this video you know what to do smash that like button and stay tuned for more content on kiwi and kvmt and all the cool stuff that is going to come out as well i'll meet you guys in the next video until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day